Good morning, we are Toni Donado and Marta Tarres, researchers at the Polytechnical University of Catalonia. We present here the Keyboard H2O project. The main goal of the project is to reduce the lack of vocations in technology and engineering with a focus on girls. Analyzing the behavior in both genders, there are several factors to be considered. First, that both genders like experiment in early age, and second, they both like playing with robots. And they do it with passion. Keyboard H2O is an educational project for contributing to incorporate computational thinking in preschool, primary and secondary school, playfully through experimentation in chemistry and robotics. There is a third important factor that if you ask them what does an engineer do, they simply don't know. In this project uh, that is based on teaching innovation and scientific dissemination, we try to seek to strengthen STEAM competences among children and young people in an inclusive way, breaking stereotypes. And the fourth factor, both genders are passionate about the use of computers, laptops, tablets, mobiles, among others from an early age. We have to take advantage of this to drive a challenge in learning. In uh, extracurricular activities of robotics, we observe first that they have a great impact and they are high demand activities. And second, that there are a lot of projects dedicated to Legos competitions focused on mechanical engineering projects and programming using robotics. The innovation of Keybot is that joins two disciplines with high potential, that it's programming and chemistry. But most, most of the users are boys. But when early childhood, school and primary education, girls seem to lose interest in technology. And not everybody can afford the cost to pay the courses and some children run out of the opportunity to test robotics. And the activities in this project try to simulate real processes that we can find in Industry 4.0. So our proposal also, we have to say, that arises from a very satisfactory experience at the Stanford University. We present here the first Lego-based robot that has been developed with Lego Par sensors and actuators to make it more attractive to children and easy to use to students and teachers. So why Lego? First of all, because it's something familiar to them. All the boys and girls have made their first step with Lego. The activities of the keyboard project require simple equipment, PCs, tablets, mobile phones, and only internet and Bluetooth connection and how to make the robot run. An attractive interface allows to control the robot and via sensors. For example, the robot can guess the result of mixing two colors selected by children, for instance. Let's see a demo. The first ad hoc design of the keyboard H2O interface to control the robot follows the principles of user-centered design, inclusive design, and considers the functional diversity of its users. We, we, we provide instructions and detailed protocols for three kinds of experiments, mixing dilution series and density layer. This project is designed in a way that all the activities are applicable and can be integrated in the Spanish curriculum. And we are learning, um, becoming the children designers of the robots and the chemistry methods are learned through small challenge games and also they can modify the experiments and the robot based uh, on trial and error this proposal is based on the experience of 22 members 60 percent women and involves 15 entities and institutions following the quadruple elix model that includes universities companies public administration and associations so this concludes the focus of discussion today. And to end, we'd like to highlight that the, this project includes also an ethical code uh, of the use of robots in the classroom. Here we can see an overview of the main points. We'd like to thank everyone for sharing their time today and any feedback would be welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.